Hey Amazon sellers, today we're going to dive deep into one of the most powerful tools in your Amazon PPC arsenal, the search term report. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use this report to supercharge your sales, find new keywords, and decrease wasted ad spend. Let's dive right in. All right, so before anything, we're going to have to talk about what a search term report even is. A search term report is a collection of all of the search queries that customers use to find your product. These aren't the same as your keywords. Because while the keyword is what you target, the search query or the search term is what the customer actually searched for. You can get many search terms from your auto campaigns, broad match campaigns, phrase match campaigns, and category targeting campaigns, or product targeting expanded campaigns. The search term report is important because it helps you find new keywords that you aren't currently targeting, because you can take these search terms and target them directly as keywords if they're relevant to your product and they produce sales. You can find out how customers are searching for and buying your product, so you can use that to adjust your listing content. And you can also find wasteful search terms that you're spending money on but not producing sales from, and you can add those as negatives in your campaign. Now that we know what the search term report is, let's show you how to access it and what to do with it once you have it. All right, so to find your search term report, you're first going to have to go into Campaign Manager. And from there, you're going to head into Measurement and Reporting. Right, and then go into Sponsored Ads Reports. Just going to open this up here. And then once you're there, you're just going to click Create New Report. You're going to select Sponsored Products. Right, then you're going to go into uh, Report Type Search Term. And you're going to select Summary. And then you're going to select Last 30 Days as your time period. You can put anything here as your report name. And then you just add your email to send it over. Or you can just download it after it's been created on Amazon. And you just put the request time as now. And you just click Run Report. And then within 10 minutes, usually you'll have a report sent to you over email, or you can just have it show up on Amazon and just download it from there. Then we'll open it up and put it in a Google Sheet and start working. All right, so over here, we have a sample report that I have created. I'll just break down everything that you'll see in this report and what to make of it. And then we can get into some of the cool things we can do with this. All right, so the first thing you'll see are just standard things like start and end date, portfolio name, a currency, the campaign that this search term has come from, the ad group that it's come from, the targeting, which is the actual keyword, the match type of the keyword, the search term that came out of this keyword with this match type from the you know existing ad group campaign and portfolio that showed up earlier, and then all of the metrics. So you have impressions, clicks, CTR, cost per click, spend, seven day total sales. And this means the seven day attribution windows being used, total advertising cost of sale, which is actually ACOS, it's not tackles because some people confuse this. Total return on ad spend, again, this is just ROAS. Then seven day total orders, seven day total units, self explanatory, it's just orders and units. Seven day conversion rate, seven day advertise SKU units. Uh, the thing is with Amazon's attribution, if someone clicks on one product and they end up buying another from your catalog, the sale of that second product can be attributed to the first product. So you could get extra units and extra revenue attributed to that SKU that you're advertising, even though you never sold the unit of that SKU. You actually sold the unit of another SKU in your catalog. So this just means that these are the sales of only the SKU that you're advertising. And this is the sales of the other SKUs that happened through this search term. So these are the other SKUs that were bought after the initial ad was clicked on. Then you just have seven day advertised SKU sales and other SKU sales. So these are just the dollar figures over here. So for these metrics, the most important ones that you want to look at are the seven day advertised SKU units, the conversion rate, the number of clicks, and the uh, click through rate. So basically the most important metrics that you're going to need to look at are the advertised SKU sales right, because you want to figure out how much the search term is actually producing for you, the A cost that you got, right, the spend that you have, and the number of clicks that you got, right. And then there are other metrics like your click through rate and conversion rate that you can basically infer from the numbers that I told you, but you can also just look at them to figure out what the quality of the search term is. All right, so now we need to figure out what we can actually do with the search term report. There are basically three things to do. Number one, find new keywords for your campaigns. Number two, find new negations for your campaigns. Number three, figure out how your customers are buying for and searching for your products and make changes to your product listing based on that. So let's start with finding good keywords. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the seven day advertised SKU sales and add a filter for greater than zero or just deselect the zero option. And you're going to be left with all of the search terms that have produced a single sale for you or more. After that, you want to go and add a filter for clicks. 
So you want to find keywords with a significant number of clicks. All of these search terms are good and are candidates for keywords that you can use in your campaign. But before you move any of these into your campaigns, you need to make sure that they don't already exist in any of your campaigns. The first thing you want to do is just filter out any search term that comes from an exact match keyword because that definitely means that it's in your campaigns. So we'll just go over here and deselect exact, right? So that removed some of the search terms that you got. The second thing you want to do is go to Amazon and go to the targeting tab and search these search terms up. You're just going to scroll over here. I just have the word search term here because this is an example search term report. But you're going to have actual search phrases. And you're going to search these up in your targeting tab to see if they're ready to see if they already exist in any of your campaigns. If they already exist, check that they don't exist in all three match types because they could exist in exact and phase but not bot, for example. So at that point, you can add it in as a broad match keyword or you could have them in one ad type and not the other. So this is another thing that you might want to look at. So if it already exists in all of the match types and ad types, then you're good to go. There's nothing to do. If it's missing completely or missing in any ad type or match type, you now have the chance to add it in and increase your visibility. The second thing you can do is find bad search terms that are wasting money. So over here, I'm just going to remove all of the filters that we put. Let's add them in again. Then you're just going to go and filter for seven day advertise SKU sales equals zero. So these are all of the keywords that haven't sold anything for the advertised SKU. And then you're just going to go and you can order them from spend highest to lowest. And now you see that we have a bunch of search terms that have spent a lot of money, but have produced nothing for us. So over here, this one has spent $68. This one has spent 45 for almost 46, 37. All of these have spent a lot of money besides the ones that are toward the end. Some of them have only spent a couple of dollars over the last month, but some of these have spent a bunch of money and are ripe for negation. So if we negate these, for example, we're probably going to save several hundred dollars per month on ad spend that wasn't producing any revenue for us. So this is another way to use the search term report. You're just going to take these search terms, you're going to copy paste them, and you're going to go back into the campaign and you can find some of these in exact too. So that might mean that the entire keyword is doing bad. So you could just pause that keyword if it's been performing this way for an extended period of time. But if it's not in exact, you can go back to the campaign where this keyword comes from, and you can just add it as a negative there. This again can save you hundreds of dollars per month. Finally, you can also use the search term report to figure out how customers are buying your products. And this doesn't require you to use any filters. You just go through the individual search terms and you figure out how people are looking for this. So I know someone who was selling a super glue type product. He thought people were just using it for construction and other home projects. But when he actually looked through his search term report, he found out that people were using these to fix boats like small boats that they would use for fishing, for example. And then once he figured that out, he started adjusting his listing content to show that and his conversion rate actually went up a lot because now people looking for this product to fix their boat saw that this was an actual use case of this glue and felt more comfortable purchasing it. So he ended up selling more and targeting more of these search terms and including it in his listing content, his images and his A content, which boosted his sales. Okay, so now that we've covered what the search term report actually is, where you can find it and what you can do with it, let's talk about some strategies that you can implement using the search term report. Strategy number one is a weekly or a bi-weekly cadence of downloading this report and finding new keywords and negations with it. This is basically what I described earlier with this screen share, but the only trick here is staying consistent with it and actually doing this week in and week out, and this will eventually increase your visibility, increase your keyword base, and therefore increase your sales, and also cut back on any of the wasted ad spend that you're seeing. The second strategy is adjusting your keywords based on search term seasonality. So during different seasons or holidays, like maybe Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, the search terms that your product shows up for and actually gets traffic and sales from might differ. So for example, for Valentine's Day, you might see a lot of Valentine's Day gift keywords show up. So Valentine's Day gift for husband, for wife, for boyfriend, for girlfriend, whoever it might be. You can adjust your keywords beforehand based on last year's search term data so that you're ready for those keywords when they come. And you can bid on them specifically and get more traffic and sales during these sales holiday or seasonality periods. All you have to do is store your search term data for each month of the year so that when the next year comes, you can look back and figure out how the search terms changed for each month, each season, or each holiday or sales period. And that gives you enough data to prepare 
for the next sales period and get more out of it. The last strategy is using search terms to gauge your market position and understand how and why people are buying your product. For example, we sold a leather cleaner that also doubles as a leather conditioner and we noticed that the search terms for the cleaner worked very well, whereas the search terms for the conditioner part didn't really perform that well. So when we found that out, we tried to figure out what caused people to not buy our product as a conditioner, but to buy it as a cleaner? Was it the way we presented it? Was it the packaging, the title, the bullet points, the listing content, the images, the A plus content? Like what made people think that you were a good cleaner, but not a good conditioner? Maybe was it even the products or the reviews for the conditioner portion of our product? So this is a way or an example of how you can use search terms to actually gauge your position and make messaging or product changes out of it. Okay, so lastly, I want to cover some mistakes that you should avoid when using the search term report. The first mistake is ignoring low volume but high CVR search terms. Not every search term will be huge for you. Some of them just don't have that high of a search volume, but that doesn't mean that you should ignore them. Enough low volume search terms can add up to a lot of money, and if your ACoS and CVR on them is good, there's no reason you shouldn't be using them in your campaigns. The second mistake is overly relying on short-term data to make decisions. This can either manifest through you choosing a date range that's too short or you just not having enough data to make real decisions. And this can lead to you negating a search term prematurely or harvesting a keyword that won't perform that well. The third mistake is neglecting to regularly add negative keywords. A lot of people are only using the search term report to find new keywords and often forget that you can also use this to get negatives. Negatives can end up saving you hundreds of dollars per month or thousands of dollars if you have a big account and it's definitely worth going in and making sure they're all in place. The final mistake is just forgetting to regularly download your search term data. You only have the last 30 days of data. So if you don't download it, at least every 30 days, you're going to start to lose some of your search term data. And this can make analysis more difficult in the future and can cause you to miss out on potential negatives or potential new keywords that you wouldn't have spotted otherwise. All right, folks, there you have it. Now you're equipped to utilize the search term report to find new keywords, negatives, and understand why customers are buying your product and make business, marketing, and product decisions based on it. I hope this video was useful. If you need help, as always, reach out at safe at AIHello.com and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And if you need help with your PPC, visit us at www.aihello.com. Again, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you guys on next week's video. Have a great day.